EVGA. The EVGA Supernova Next 1500 watt classified power supply has arrived and with it are a ton of really exciting new features such as up to 1500 watts at 90% rated efficiency, it has 124 amps on the plus 12 volt rails, it allows software monitoring and control and also has individually sleeved cables. But before we show you all that, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we get on the inside. So here is uh, the side of the box and of course the back for any of you that are interested. EVJ has a lot of information about some of the feature set and the efficiency of the power supply. So now let's go ahead and open it up. So right on top here we have two boxes. Let's go ahead and grab this one first. So on the inside here we have a small pouch. This is used to store any additional cables that you're not using. Uh, we have a 24 pin uh, connector for your motherboard. We have a couple of PCI Express power connectors. This one is uh, Molex and Serial ATA power connectors. And we have a heavy duty power cable. Of course we have a manual and a note here about the optimal way to configure the power supply. So there are several unique points about the cable set that EVGA chose to include. So first let's take a look at the power cable. This is a 12 gauge really really heavy duty power cable that really has a premium look. So let's take a look at the 24 pin power connector. So you can see that it is individually sleeved and there's actually no heat shrink so it's really high quality. And all of the power cables that are included in the power supply are 100% individually sleeved. So now it's time to take a look at the power supply. So inside the main power supply box, there is a small little packet here. And uh, this has a couple of rubber feet. And so these rubber feet are used on the power supply if you're using it outside of a chassis so it doesn't get scratched. And it also uh, includes a small note about this as well. And here it is, the EVGA Supernova Nex 1500 watt classified power supply. So you can see it's 100% modular and if you notice here right on the back we have a small tab that tells us to read the manual but if we pull that off we'll see a bunch of small dip switches back there. Now these dip switches allow various different functions of the power supply to be enabled. For example if you enable dip switch 5 and 1 this will run the power supply in auxiliary mode which means it'll always be on. Or you can combine dip switch 5 and 2 for overclock mode which will run the power supply up to 6, 1650 watts. You can also configure it in single rail mode, this meaning 12 volt rail, or you can run it in 100% fan mode for overclocking sessions. So another really great feature of the EVGA 1500 watt power supply is the ability to monitor and control various functions from software. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that now. So the first thing I need to do is properly configure my power supply to export data to my PC. So inside the box is a USB cable. This is an internal USB cable that connects from the power supply to a USB header on the motherboard. Once that is done, I can utilize the software. So now I'm in Windows. So let's take a look at some of the features that the Supernova software has to offer. So you can see I have a lot of different options to monitor there. I have uh, input power, temperature, efficiency, 12 volt voltage. I can also look at trending for any of these items. Some of the options I can even configure, such as my 12 volt rail. I can increase or decrease my 12 volt rail. I can even change my fan curve. I can select overdrive, performance, or silent mode. You can also select the number of tiles that you want to view at a single time. You can see two or up to six. And I can configure normal or overclock mode, which runs my power supply up to 1650 watts at a 230 VAC, 
or I can also configure single rail or multi-rail mode. So there you have it. For more information on this product, please visit the official EVJ website at www.evj.com forward slash next 1500 or be a part of our community at forums.evj.com. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.